All right, hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Dorothy, thank you for joining me today. Please subscribe to this channel, and then you can get all of the notifications because I have 12 videos coming up and it's great to be notified. You don't have to come hunt me down, <laughs> which is a good thing, right? So I wanna talk about the month of October for each zodiac sign, but here's the preface I'm gonna put in front of each video, okay? Right off the bat, the month of October, we have, it starts right out with Mercury is still retrograde in the sign of Libra. So with it retrograde in Libra, and it has been since September 17th, um, the energy of this is represented that we're looking for peace, we're looking for harmony, we're looking for balance in our communications with others. And so this is very important for us to really find that in our lives. And, you know, when the Mercury, when Mercury is retrograde, sometimes we're being made aware of how things are out of balance, especially in the sign of Libra. So keep that in mind, and I'll tell you what house that's in for each zodiac sign when I get to the details coming up next. Mercury, Mercury is in Libra, but we have the Sun, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter all in the sign of Virgo. So I'm going to focus on that in these video rec recordings here. There's a ton of stuff in October happening, but I'm going to really focus on the Virgo energy for the most of October. All right, and that means... Virgo is all about service to others. It's also about our daily living, our daily health, how we take care of ourselves. I mean, a regular routine of things that we do. It's our work, the work that we go to every day, our co-workers. It's, you know, and it's getting back and forth. And Mercury is the ruler of Virgo as well as Gemini. And with it being retrograde for the beginning of the month and just in a shadow phase for most of the rest of the month of October, you know, communications and paying attention to the details are going to be very important for every single one of us, no matter what your zodiac sign. It just depends on what your zodiac sign is and how you respond to Virgo energy as to how you will um, work with the month of October. All right. So let me get on to that. And thank you for watching. Again, please subscribe and come to my website as well. There's little boxes. Oh, I probably put them over here. Where is it? There we go. I'll probably put them right over there where you can click right into my website. Thank you for watching. And um, all right, hang on because you're next. All right, Sagittarius, you're next. Actually, you're now. So we started the month of October with Mercury retrograde in the sign of Libra. Now he went retrograde on September 17th, will be retrograde through October 9th, and this is going on in your solar 11th house. And so while Mercury is retrograde in that sector, please give another week on either side of those dates I just gave you. With Mercury retrograde in that sector, it's going to help you to kind of sit back and reevaluate the groups that you belong to and reevaluate re what it is that you believe, those social things that we all seem to have um, some idea about. All right. So while it's retrograde, you know, we, we, we have an opportunity just to, to hear our own dialogue, hear our own conversations, have conversations with others. It's kind of interesting that, you know, this retrograde energy um, politics is kind of hot and heavy at this point. Just people trying to trying to thin the herd right now of who we have is in running for president and um, <clears throat> in the United States here. So this will definitely help. But uh that 11th house for you guys um, who have Sag rising or are Sag. This is important because, you know, you're really going to focus in on uh, what's, what's important for you and what those social causes that mean a lot to you are all about. So while Mercury is retrograde in that area, take your time and just listen to yourself. Listen to others. You know, be that diplomat. Be nice and quiet and just listen. So once Mercury gets moving forward, and especially by the 25th of October, when Mercury will be opposite Uranus, there'll be amazing amounts of opportunities for you to really step up to the plate when it comes to the groups and the endeavors that are important for you. In the meantime, while Mercury's retrograde, just kind of hit neutral, coast along for a little while. All right. Now, I'm going to move on to the Virgo things that I mentioned in the beginning. So we have Mercury moving into Virgo on October 8th. Mars is already there, as well as Jupiter. They all just moved in there just very recently. The Sun is in the sign of Libra at this point in time. So with Venus, and this is going on in your solar 10th house. So to have Virgo up there on the 10th house, that's kind of cool because that just shows us that all of these great things are going on in your career sector and what you're known for. That's excellent. Jupiter in that area means you're getting more work. Sorry, 
If you don't want to work harder, you have an opportunity for more work, more pay, and you have the energy to do it. Truly, truly, in a nutshell, with Virgo there, you're valuing the work. Venus also represents that money. Jupiter in that sector means it's about expansion, so you're having more work, but it can mean you can really streamline it into something that's very, very good. That's what that Virgo's about. So if you have too much, you need to streamline it, which you're good at if you have Virgo in the midheaven. All right? Mars in there as well just represents um, a lot of energy to get these projects going, and then you can start delegating. All right? Venus, Mars, and Jupiter all will conjunct throughout the month. You know, Venus to Mars, Venus to Jupiter, Mars and Jupiter as well. What that is all about is more money, you're valued better, you're valued more, and you have the energy to set goals and be recognized for what you're doing. All of this, all of those three planets, at some point throughout October, will make a trine aspect to Pluto. Pluto is all about deep transformation. This is fabulous. This is the Earth trine, so this is great. The hard work that you do and the hard work that you're being recognized for will pay off, and it will help shift something major in your life. It's a great opportunity for you, Sag. All right, I'm going to leave you with that. Thank you for watching. More details in your own private sessions. Come to my website, nhastrologer.com. And uh, please subscribe to this channel. And uh, I have a Facebook channel, too. Thank you very much. Blessed be. And namaste. Okay, just a quick final note. I am going to be doing a video blog pretty soon, and I would love your questions so I can do a question and answer video. It will be going mostly uh, straight. I Pretty much I'm going to do it straight through my YouTube channel. Not my YouTube channel. Through my Facebook channel. So um, send me your questions. I'm not going to be doing personal readings and personal charts, like I've got this, blah, 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 but just basic questions. It's going to be very educational, fun, and light, and airy. So send me your questions, and I would love to uh, include your questions in my video blog. Thank you.